For now, we have new video and new details on a terrible chain reaction crash that injured four people, including a trooper and two people inside his cruiser. This happened yesterday afternoon on I-77 South near Canton. News 5's Bob Jones shows us the incredible damage and why investigators believe this is a miracle. Everybody survived. We're getting our first look at an OSP cruiser that was crushed on I-77 yesterday, and the damage is truly unbelievable, and it's amazing that three people inside the cruiser suffered only minor injuries. You can see the back end was obliterated. A window was shattered. There were actually two men in the back seat who had been in an accident minutes before on that same highway. Trooper Robert Chapman was in the driver's seat. And over here on the front of the cruiser, you can see the bumper was torn off and the hood was crunched up. Investigators say Chapman and the two other men were on the berm when a car clipped a semi behind them, causing the semi to ram into the cruiser. Everyone inside the cruiser taken to hospitals with luckily only minor injuries. This certainly could have been a lot worse. We have three very lucky individuals. This very easily could have been a triple fatality. Um, you know, we stress, slow down, move over. If you can't move over, slow down, but don't stop. Troopers say horrible crashes like this one, a major reason Ohio has the move over law, requiring all drivers to move over one lane when passing any vehicle with flashing or rotating lights parked on the roadside. In North Canton, Bob Jones, News 5. Man, oh man. Meanwhile, state troopers in Medina County are targeting drivers who do not move over or slow down for emergency vehicles on the side of the highway.